provide a general solution for the given system and for the initial value problem so you are given the system and the condition as well so first phi a minus lambda i what is a a is let's call this matrix a subtracted with lambda i that gives you this matrix okay so from this step what i did was i make the this become zero okay so how well i mode I multiply the second equation by negative one and add it up onto the third equation. So we write the first and second rows. Third row becomes negative one plus one zero, negative two plus one negative one, positive lambda, negative uh negative three, which is positive. 1 minus lambda okay and then you are going to find its determinant which gives you uh which leads you to this one set this equal to 0 so for lambda that gives you lambda equals 1 and positive and negative 5i okay now let's take a look at the case when lambda equals 1 look 1 into a minus lambda i that gives you this matrix augmented with 0 okay now from the first equation, I have negative 12k2 minus 14k3 equals 0. So for k3, that gives me negative 6 over 7k2, choose k2 equals 7, then k3 is negative 6. Okay. And then from this equation i have k1 plus k2 minus 3 k3 equals 0 so for k1 i have a negative k2 plus 3 k3 okay since i know k2 k3 i can solve for k1 which is negative 25 then my vector k is negative 25 7 negative 6 then my vector x1 is vector k times e to the t now you are, you are going to do the same thing for lambda equals positive phi i plug it into a minus lambda i that gives you this matrix augmented with zero from the second equation i have k1 equals 3k3 minus 2 minus phi i times k2 from the third equation i have negative uh, 1 minus phi i times k2 i factor out negative 1 plus 1 minus phi i k3 equals 0 so for k3 I got k2 so they are equal to each other if I choose k2 1 then k1, k3 is 1 k1 is 1 plus 5 i then my vector k is 1 plus 5 i 1 1 all right now it's time to write the solution for this lambda so vector x2 is going to be the real part of vector k 1 1 1 times cosine phi t minus the imaginary part of vector k which is phi 0 0 times psi phi t and then you did multiply this in and then combine them together that gives you this matrix so basically you just add the matrix C together okay now that's for vector x2 now for vector x3 you duplicate vector x2 and make some changes what are those changes so they need to have the the opposite sign okay cos psi phi t and psi phi t stay the same this vector and this vector you just switch them Okay, that's why I have 500 for cos phi t and 111 for psi phi t. Okay, and then add these two vectors together. That gives you these vectors. Now for our general solution, we have vector x equals c1 times vector x1, which is this vector. Bring it down. Plus c2 times this vector. Plus c3 times x vector x3. Okay. Normally you will finish at this step, but because you are given initial value problem, you have to solve for C1, C2, and C3. Okay, so plug in 0 for T, I have C1 times this vector, plus C2 times cosine 0, which is 1, psi of 0 is 0, so cosine 5, cosine 0 is 1, cosine 0 is 1, plus C3 times phi, cosine 0 is 1, phi psi 0 oh, is 0, psi 0 is 0, okay, and that equals to 4, 6, negative 7. 
now so this one is like you have XYZ okay so to solve this to solve for C1 C2 C3 you are going to put it into a matrix and then augment it with the right side okay reduce this down to a base matrix once you reduce it down to a base matrix you will get C1 equals 1 C2 equals negative 1 C3 equals 6 okay so from this equation now it becomes this okay so that's it if you find the video is helpful feel free to give it a like share and subscribe to my channel in order to receive the most current videos don't forget to hit the bell so that you won't miss anything i'll see you next time